Dude, meta? I, I didn't realize No, that no, you case. just met a dev. Yeah. It's like, hi, mom, dad, I met a dev. Look at this card that shows Two, that I did it. Here we one. go. Game one. We, we finally got it. it. We made it. Kaida oh, and Radish are in we game. We failed like masters. Kaida and Radish going into game number one, my friends. Uh, once again, Radish with a positive set history over Kaida and already opening off, able just to catch him crossing up multiple times and putting him off stage. Yeah, so two character Whoa. loyalists here. Gets the down air, gets the spike. What? That's going to be destruction Kaida deleted in 13 seconds. Radish has been on the Red Raptor for as long as I can remember. Character came out he hesitated to switch off the Petra for like a tournament or two and has never looked back Kaina on the other hand on Taros mm -hmm. not opening up a Fallen Prince Taros much to my dismay it's going to be Roman Reigns once again loves doing the double shovel <laughs> right okay. there, shovel axe kid shovel uh, shovel hammer there it is what no that's right he likes to show off at the Cure Seekers <laughs> in tournament builds. And just much to the anguish of every viewer that's watching. Okay, D-Light Sider, though, back to the game. New trailer coming out as it. well. Radish looking for the landing. The D-Light able to catch that D-Light, and that's going to oh. be enough. Wow. I'm still reeling that he doesn't have double shovel. This is like, like yeah, the gameplay is really cool, but I can't believe it's just that. Ah, oh, kind of. What's going on? Here we go. Two socks to two. I can finally focus on the match. <laughs> You finally got over yourself? <laughs> I said it with such confidence that I was so wrong. Here we go. I should have known. I should have known. You know, this is my fault. This is me. Yo, <laughs> Red Raptor walking back and forth is so funny on the skin because oh, his moved, head yeah. is so... Oh, so speaking good. of walking back and forth, brings up the bike. Gravity cancel sides. It goes to the right side of the stage. You get Fake. one of those. He faked out going to the left. Pivoted right around. Uh, mm -hmm. And kind of goes drifting off the right side of the stage. Now two stocks to one. Kind of occupying the ground for a second, looking for the neutral, able to get a D-Light Sider, dashing in, dashing out. Radish avoiding the neutral, but still gets hit with a stomp sale. Okay, coming back in, not able to find a Sider of his own. I mean, look at how much presence Kaina has on the ground. Radish is looking for any openings, goes for the NSIG, huge with punish, double recovery, not going to be able to connect though. D-Light Sider once again, Radish, how do you make it back onto the stage? Yeah, let's see. I, wa I wonder, well, I'll talk more about it after the result of this match. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Radish so far on the orb, doing doing pretty well staying away from any kind of combo starters. Kind of just staying completely grounded. Finally goes up for a jumping side air, and Radish finds the down light, gets the nair afterwards. It's going to be great damage. He's being so patient. He's just looking for one missed option. He's able to get the down air. It's not enough to KO off the top, though, quite yet. Radish finding a side air, finding an end light as well. Kind of looking just to go high. Radish not able to connect the ground pound. Oh, falls with a side air, gravity cancel side light, not going to get punished too hard. Um, and Kaina still struggling to get this knockout. That might be too much damage. Ray is now over to the boots. The end light's going to do it. More than enough. Yeah. I mean, listen, anything can happen, especially against Taros. You just need a couple of wins in neutral, and then you can make it happen. He is not opting to stay on the Axe, because Axe Orb is a little bit challenging for Axe sometimes. Side light punish on the with D light, though, once again. Stomping away, looking to threaten a landing. Radish. Not hitting anybody with that. Yeah, came close though. Didn't get too punished. One little side light here and there is not going to be too much, but Kaina has really slowed the game down. Side light side air comes through here. It's remarkable mm -hmm. to me that this was a game that started off with a 14 second stock and we're over three minutes in. I mean, um, he has just been slowly chipping away at this damage. The side light side yeah. is enough to be able to KO. So, oh my goodness. You mentioned something that I was going to bring up, but I wanted to see the result of the match, which is that um, you don't feel like Orb into Axe is that great. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, Orb just kind of gets to outspace Axe and it forces Axe to play like a very grounded game plan. And if you whiff anything in neutral against Orb, Orb usually has like the boost range, especially with side light and D light, to be able to successfully whiff punish either side lights or end lights on behalf of Axe. Yeah. I feel like Hammer is able to give you the reach uh, that you want to be able to have. And also D light um, is able to uh, successfully punish the end lag of a lot of uh, moves from Orb. And so there was a very, there's a very funny competitive stat where like once by the time when we players were looking at all of the weapons that were gracing top eights in every region, there was only one orb across all three, and that was yeah. Radish. Um, and I think about that and I go, oh yeah, maybe Radish has such a good record against South American players, like kind of because no one's playing orb in the region. Nobody. Uh, three, even EU two, has a little bit more one, orb representation than, than, than SA does. So we're going to be going over to quite the counter pick here. Let's uh, just watch the way that stage. he manipulates space. I mean, already look at the way that he's opened off eight seconds into the match. Side light side of Kaina in the orange. Radish puts himself off stage. He has Axe on hand. And let's see if I was going to be right about that. Radish is opting to play a little bit more airborne with the side light. Kaina just opting for that grounded gameplay. Dash jump, ground pound through the coverage as well. He is controlling Kaina. 
Yeah, going over to a triplat stage is interesting here at this juncture. Kind of probably just wanting to find some more axe nares and being on platforms maybe lends to that. Light but, specifically but and getting I, the I juggles. do think that with how grounded Kaina is playing, uh, this just seems like an odd stage to go to. You would have at least had a dual mm -hmm. plat left open to, to, to play with. But no, Raiders starting off strong here. Did he not pick up the orb? I think he did. Yeah, he just messed he it just up. Messed and, up. Then, and then he dodged in place and just completely got caught into his movement. Let's see if Kaina is able to capitalize off of that mistake. Okay, hammer on hand. Able to get the GCD light into the uh, down, and that is going to be enough to take the stock off the top. Incredible, amazing coverage GCing like that because you're also able to catch airborne opponents at the same time. Yeah, conversely, Kaina is so good at juggling opponents that maybe he actually prefers having the platforms there almost as a, like obstacles for Radish to come yes. down. Because Radish has been absolutely stuck on these platforms. When he plays floaty, Kaina was able to... Well, he was, Look at these nares. Oh, he just boxed them away twice. Goes for a third nair there. Yeah, these platforms are doing Radish no favors. He is just hitting them a ton. Okay, Saido though just coming on out. Kinda left no room, right? That's what happens when you put yourself into the corner. You have no more space to dash back successfully. So Radish found the hit. He was able to find the KO. Saido coming on out. Radish, can you make it back on? He is stalling and delaying. Great steering, yeah. Orb wow. recovery. You can steer it slightly uh, to the left or the right. You could go straight up to the left. That was the max distance going all the way left to the stage. Kinda doesn't go for the edge guard there. He's able to make it back, but he's still so behind on this second stock. Only finds a Saido. Yep. Sider into Silent Stare. That's a great start. Radish getting Huge good damage. three hits. Sider once again kind of stuck at disadvantage, Whoa. which is the worst place to be it against Oil because it is able to juggle you into infinity. What kind of wants to keep on doing, he wants to whip punish uh, Radish with a lot of end lights, and he wants to be able to juggle him with D lights, right? So he's threatening. He needs this KO. He needs Juggling a Sider. Juggling with D lights a lot harder on the triplats though, right? But the end yes. lights that always works out, right? Is swing when opponent gets near me, and Radish did get a good amount of damage there with the orb, and I think that was a lot, a large part because it was was Orb versus Axe, right? Mm -hmm. um, but still solidly behind here as Kaino was able to take the lead off of most of the, the damage that he gets on this hammer. Sidelight so once again, classic, looking for the GC sidelight, not able to find it quite yet though. Kaina, oh my gosh, just getting hit with the GC. Oh, side sig is off stage, dodges out, and is able to even punish the end leg as well. <laughs> Banish! Oh my god. You know, it's great that he got his stock, and it's so cool that he got it with the oil side sick. Man, I hate that move. It's pretty great. And the way that he's been doing it is he's dashing back while he's doing it, so it, it, the distance looks like uh, it's deceptive yeah. how quickly he's able to show up there. And kind of with how grounded he's playing, it's yes. just not respecting the move. He's not spot not dodging all. it. He's not reacting to it. He just gets hit by it twice in a row. That's three, no it's three knockouts. When you thing. use that at mid-range, people usually, like, they dash in, they're pressing something else they shouldn't be, and then they, they yeah. end up getting hit. I mean, it's similar to a Surrey side sig. Yes. Um, it's just the Surrey players don't let that rip as much as Red Raptors let the bike go. Well, because right? it just looks as cool, but... Yeah. Okay, kind of though, he's looking for some of these hammer juggles. Radish actually using the platforms to be able to mix up his landing. It is not going to be enough though. The D-Light side of the weapon toss. Well, nice Radish, chance. no chance at all. And he got the downing even before he touched the side of the stage two. So he did not get his resources back. All that right. was excellent timing on the downing. Yeah, well played by Kaina. Uh, the counter pick there doing quite well. I'm wondering if we're going to leave open the triplat maps going forward. I, it, it was interesting seeing how comfortable kind of felt there keeping Red Rat uh, yep. or, or Radish uh, locked into being onto the platforms. There were sequences where it was just three hammer nares in a row just mm -hmm. hitting him as he jumped from platform to platform. Um, so curious how the matchup's going to develop as we go forward. I think this is one of the few uh, head-to-heads where I'm going, oh yeah, Radish might have advantage against Kaina on yes. Demon Island because Orb beats his axe play style so hard. Yeah, I'm curious to see how that's going to continue to shape up. But, you know, what really did work for Kaina was when he was already in advantage, specifically he was playing super, super grounded. Um, and then Radish was the one that was trying to land on top of him. He did a really good job of using D-Light, and that is something that Hammer does not give you. You have to commit to a jump neutraler to be able to catch somebody in the air, or you have to catch the landing, right? Uh, whereas with Axe, you have the D-Light, you're able to cover that space. None of Hammer's buttons uh, cover that diagonal and above space, Three, which is two, why people can kind one. of get away with it you sometimes. Get, you get Terrace neutral. Sig. And we saw Kaina try to do Terrace Sig in game one and not a single one hit, right? That's the only thing that covers that dead zone yes. um, really well. And then it whipped and then he got punished for it a couple of times, didn't he? So we'll yeah. see how it ends up shaping out this time around. Radish starting off with the boots, Kaina on the axe, the weapon toss to be able to create an opening, and he's doing it again and again. That's so good because Kaina is just staying on the ground. And so we're over on the Demon Island, which I was talking about makes the most sense, right, for Radish Ooh. to want to go to after how, what happened on the Triplat stage. So let's see if this plays out in Radish's favor here. If it doesn't, I am struggling to consider where Radish would want to go. All of these weapon tosses, Radish keeps on finding these openings. 
things. The pivot end light as well goes off stage for the downer. Not going to be able to find it. The D light side who comes out though, kind of. They're recovering. Not going to knock out just yet, but it gets the neutral signature. That might be enough. Kind of sweating. <gasps> the D-Light <laughs> chase dodge and then tried to go for the pivot side of as well. I mean, Radish has no business being out there. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the gravity cancel. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, I guess what it would have been better if Kaina was able to hit him um, with an aerial and then use a chase nice. dodge afterwards. But uh, regardless, Kaina goes down. Radish takes the lead here. Gets boxed away by that down line. Let's see if he can get back to the stage. If he can, if he can landing with Cider and end lights gets Radish That's it. Fun. That's the punish. He comes yeah. in with the side light, but he unfortunately messes up his timing. He was not able to get a side light Cider. The end light is going to be able to come out, and that is Radish's first stock gone. You know, I never really acknowledged how good Orb Downlight is at uh, dealing with Axe end light, especially because Axe yeah. end light does not hit as high anymore. No. Right? The adjustments have made it much lower, lower to the ground. It used to be like an all-purpose attack. Especially now when you dash like in, or when you're dashing in with the oil of the light. Of yeah, course, you, you just jump right over it. Distance. Uh, it is a crazy, crazy move. Yeah. So really interesting seeing Raiders being able to do that. Sidelight Cider gets a good whip punish there. Nice the recovery. Light. Yeah, coming back onto the stage, you jump to fake him out, you force the hand recovery and you punish them. Sidelight Cider once again gonna be opting to stay on the orb, and I do not blame him. <laughs> he, he, he has hit every single one of those besides he, one. Yeah, he has been he just grounded that time, just brings the bike out, saw how many jumps kinda had left and went, okay, if you don't dodge. It's because kinda keeps giving up space. He keeps putting himself in the corner in those moments and, and Radish he's not, is he's doing not it for dodging himself. When he lands in those spaces. And I think no. I think Reyes has recognized that Kaina doesn't have like it, I'm not saying this is how Kaina's brain works, right? But if Kaina like just has a trained response to a lot of things that happen in the game, Red Raptor side stick apparently he has nothing for. He just stands there and gets run over by the He's bike. He's not been also spot dodging. He's not been dodging on the ground at all. Mm -hmm. uh, which I'm curious to see how that's going to continue to play out here. At the moment, Kaina just patrolling the ground, threatening. He pushed Greatest to the corner. He Ooh. backed up. He worked so hard with his Weapon movement throw. to find the GCD light. What? Weapon throw, and he doesn't go for it. I, I mean, I was hoping he would. That, that's not the weapon throw I was hoping for. I was hoping yeah. he was going to like dash forward, mm -hmm. throw the weapon off the side of the stage. He's opting for the slow instead of the edge guard instead. And if Greatest gets any extra credit over here, I would consider nice. the thunder, but the downlights come through and kind of does keep to his game plan. The spacing on those D-lights are insane. So Radish now on to the last stock. Let's see how he is able to even up the damage, if at all. He whips the end light. That's a huge opening. Kind of putting him back into another juggle. The weapon toss is unsuccessful this time, and Kaina has completely evened up this game. Oh, dash lands. Doesn't get the side light. Down light opener could be a little riskier against Hammer, so he's falling with stairs instead. Recovery just to reposition. Falling with Cider once again. Radish stinking into the air, and kind of can't get the anti air to the Hammer. Not at all. But he doesn't want to switch over to the Axe, because that's been even doing worse against the Orb. Goes to the end sig, and uh. that's not going to do it. Side sig actually would have worked there. <laughs> Uh, Stomp does not hit. Uh, Radish oh, might go for so side again. And as Orb, I mean, you could go for side like side. Oh, it's going to be a while. Okay. The side comes out. Kaina is off stage. Radish, can yeah, you man. get this? Edge guard side like side. Is that going to be enough? Yes, it will be. He what takes game number way? three and he gives himself a two to one lead. What an interesting matchup between these two. Yeah, Kaina is just not not being able to handle Radish's orb. Radish is shit. This this might be like the one matchup where where kind has got to really think about how to be able to play this. So so now I guess you ban out to you ban out to Air Temple uh, in both triplats, and maybe we go to Air Temple for game mm -hmm. number four um, because I don't think flat stage is working Kinda's favor at all. Radish is just being no. able to jump around him. He lands with a side air. Sometimes he approaches with a side light. The side sticks are are going through. We saw a neutral signature there, right, into the edge guard where we got that weird stop. Um, but Kaino's kind of never going to be able to make it back. And then we're going to see, oh no, we we, we, get, we missed the side stick here, but we still get the edge guard where he catches Kaino on the landings on the edge of the stage. Kaino's not favoring going for the, the wall. Nope. We haven't seen Radish have to go for the down sig. Um, he's not had to go for any orb ground pounds. So let's see what stage we got for game number four. We're well, seeing him find a lot of openings as well uh, with the weapon toss, especially because of the way that Kaina is playing. He's playing fairly grounded. He's not going for a lot of dash jumps. He's not sort of, you Three, know, schmixing two, up his movement or anything. One, uh, and Radish has been able to call him out for it a couple of times. So we'll see how this ends up playing out. I think the best thing that Kaina has going for him right now is when he gets Radish into a juggle, I mean, he is able to put on so much damage, especially with things like Axe D-Light. 
Oh, Gators. Open it with the boot just like he did with game over one. Ground pounds to come through though, kind of get the reversal. Double down. Gets the, the recovery, recovery, but he touches the wall. A little bit too early. If he delayed his recovery, he would have been able to get the spike hitbox of it, but still such good damage being applied off stage. The weapon toss, the hammer coming out. Down as well. Yeah, he liked, one, but no uh, follow up. One of the few weapon tosses that was its intention was to starve Radish of the weapon spawn because he wanted to keep Radish on boots. Mm -hmm. um, but now he's got Hammer Prime for the orb. This is nice the coverage. Stock. And now Radish is going to come back in on a fresh pair of boots. This is the best start that Kana could have asked for. Yeah, this is huge, especially as Tarios, your defense that lets you live a very long time. And Orb, not all that known for KOing you uh, all that early. So we'll see if that's going to end up playing out. The GC Delight to be able to extend here as well. Amazing stuff. Kaina off stage, nice. ground pound, and that's going to be the stock. Kaina uh, going down to two stocks. Yeah, and Radish uh, uh, intelligently delaying that ground pound there before fading back to the jump just to see what Kaina was going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and it manages to get that edge guard there, which was pretty critical because Kaina was doing so well on the Axe opening up into that stock, and now he's over on the orb. Kinda not willing to match the orb with the axe. Sidelight Cider, however, will get through Kinda's defenses. Falling scoop doesn't get the nair. Nice dodge punish. Right back. Yeah, beautiful punish on the end leg. They're trying to land with the neutral to be able to cover the space below him, whipping the D light, dodging directly into Ooh. him. Kinda no is swinging D light Cider as well. That stock was evaporated. Kinda read every single consecutive uh, defensive option, every single disadvantage option from Raiders. And seeing uh, the gravity cancel stop on the Drift in mid-air to be able to get that cider is pretty huge. Nice job punishing the side lights. Radish kicks through, doesn't get the ground pound, however, and Kaina is not low enough, uh, or does not have enough damage for that ground pound to even really be a threat. And at this point, it might be. Oh my Gravity gosh. Gravity cancel side light, goes for the ground <gasps> pound, and the weapon throw recovery gives Kaina a way back onto the stage, but that huge. could be the stock. Nice dodge out of the down air. Radish keeps on putting himself off stage, and Kaina is now taking advantage of it until he whips that D-light. Doing really well, neutral. Though. Like every single one of these is a sidelight victory. He, he, he's a downlight sider, might just knock out. Gravity the GCS it? And gets it. Radish destroyed Kaina. The way that covered the platform, that entire platform yeah. was just one big hitbox, even as Kaida was trying to descend from it. Radish on the precipice oh. of making an amazing comeback, orb on hand, and Kaina has axe primed. So let's see how this matchup is going to play out this time around. Yeah, Kaina, uh, not on the back foot and damage just yet, but I feel, like, I feel like Radish has got the momentum. Downlight dodges the end light, gets the neutral light right afterwards, Radish on the orb, looking for another falling opening here. Kinda just does not want to fight the uh, uh, fight the matchup with Axe, goes right back over to the hammer, stops, Sayer, good start, looks for another one. He's got the momentum. Okay, he's just trying it. to force these jumps from Radish. The way that he is moving, he is walking up close to him, but does not matter, D-Light down, not able to get a double down. Okay, looking for the jump call out with the side, he does not find it that time around. That's the call out, look at his pressure. Sidelight, Nair, side air, Radish on the edge guard now. Get the gravity cancel sidelight, Sarah. Okay, Kaina's got a dodge. That's it. <gasps> the gets neutral the Nair, the ground pound doesn't cover it. Kaina gets hit by sidelight, side air again, though. This edge guard could be for Radish. End sig here. Side sig. Goes for gravity cancel sidelight, Sarah. That's it. That's it. Okay. That grounded opponent? We need to see who can play on that last stock. I cannot believe that was able to catch him. I thought that he was going to be way too high up. Wow. Radish taking another victory over Kaina.